Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lawrence Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We are on the Recite menu, in which we'll be extending uh, this uh, particular UI application by integrating the folder drawable uh, from the same library, uh, DKMTEOR. Now we'll be moving straight to Android Studio. What about we'll be integrating the library manually, uh, not through the dependency. So I'll actually show you how to uh, include the library uh, into a working uh, source file. We're still going to look at the build gradle, uh, the module uh, session, which is for the sample, uh, just the like app session. You can also depict it with the app directory. We have the square of Picasso. And uh, we need to include the compile project library. This library is actually the folder uh, containing uh, the methods and the classes involved in the recite uh, drawer. Whereby you also have the uh, folder effects. So you include the library doing this. You pass in the library a folder into the project parenthesis. And you uh, keep the compile synchronized with Gradle. Uh, you have your source file set up. Inclusively, you need to make some changes uh, in the settings of Gradle, where you have to include the library as a folder, you know, in the settings. So uh, the source file will be able to integrate correctly with the uh, library in question. Now. We're going to look at the layout files and uh, the Java classes. After you might have done that, you're going to have your library set up with uh, your source file. So we will look at the main XML. We still maintain the UI from the uh, recite menu, uh, in which uh, there's still much uh, the same, uh, no more, no no great change in the in the in the look and feel of the UI. Uh, the major focus is right on the folder drawer, uh, which actually changed from the flip uh, aspect of the previous uh, tutorial. Now we're still on the button, the text view, the button, uh, the frame layout where we still have uh, the title bar, the menu selector, and the image view. How about we have a closing frame layout? This is the main XML. Let's look at the gallery. These are fragments that were created uh, from the course of the menu the gallery, the fragment view pager, and the calendar. These are still maintained uh, if you've been following with the uh, recite menu uh, previous tutorial. We still have the profile for the profile uh, fragment and the settings. Likewise for the settings fragment. Let's get to look at the Java classes where we still maintain our menu activity as the launcher activity extends the fragment activity and implements the view on click listener. Uh, we set up the recite uh, items, uh, the fields, private. You know, this is encapsulation so that it will actually be called inside the class being used or extend with uh, a method right inside the class. We have the setup menu. We still have the on click, the recite menu, on menu listener. And then also the change fragment that actually changes the fragment to pick up uh, different ones being created from the home, the gallery, the calendar still maintains uh, the events over uh, a calendar year. We still have the view pager fragments and the settings fragments. Uh, these are fragments that were created to actually hold on to the menu of the reside. Uh, buttons. Let's look at the manifest. We have our launcher activity holding on to the menu activity and uh, the user's permission Android permission internet. This is very essential. After you get to see the library uh, folders, it has its own manifest, it has its own Java source files. This is from the extension and the recite menu item where you have the touch disable view this is actually uh, from the library which sometimes you can include in your dependency as uh, a compound but now you're having it as full so you can easily or if you 
want to go further in tweaking uh, the recite menu, you can dig in deep into the library's uh, source files. It needs to change some logic in the Java classes. I'll be uploading the same source code to my GitHub account, and I'll be testing these in an Android emulator so that you're going to see the folder effects right on the drawer. So stay tuned. Here we go with the application, the folder, reside menu. Now you get to swipe right or left to have the folder effect. So let me try to swipe from right. This is an emulator, so it may not be as uh, smooth as a real device. But yet it has this folding effect while trying to review the menus underneath. You can have it back. Let's swipe from left. You get to see the folder. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this uh, session. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can tweak up your full or your recite menu. Add some folder to it. So it's going to flip as if you're opening a book uh, page. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.